נחזור. Welcome to the Hot Kitchen of Yazol podcast. We are the three amigos, your story chefs on duty, cooking you some of the hottest stories from out there. Gisad Sukon. And now, straight out of Vancouver, Canada, the big man, Zol Kebir on the wheels of steel. Please welcome DJ Bakumba. Oh, DJ Bakumba in the house. Guys, yeah, yeah. <laughs> welcome to the house. Yeah. <laughs> It's another hot, yeah. another nice yeah. story. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm uh, from Edmonton. Another Zol Kebir. His friends call him Le Japonais. Music teacher and guitarist. Please welcome Dennis Lisa. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And I am the chef on the grill, the DC Sultan of Small London Zol Kebir Mosoran Selim. Coming up today on Yazol podcast, the highlights from South Sudan. The governor of Jongole issues order against sale of drugs. Lawmakers in Juba tell transport minister to fix the Juba International Airport. We are assigned by the Bible to lead our people, says minister. General Mamour's funny metaphor. From Africa, dead woman in Kenya had a dozen boyfriends. A South African teacher has been dismissed for sexual misconduct. Let's go international now. A murder suspect has been released by mistake in America. Let's go. Okay. Let's go to our first story from South Sudan. The governor of Jongole state has ordered the sale of drugs in Jongole to be limited. Uh, Governor Dr. Majub Biel Turuk has issued an order banning the sale of alcohol and other harmful drugs across the nine counties. The order was issued on Tuesday this past week in response to rising drug use amongst young people, which has contributed to crime in both town. Of course, I don't remember this at a... Jekal Dugumang Nong Mapanga Niger, right? So, no more Jennifer, no more Royal Jean, no more Jaguar, Wele Mukadarat. It's the ice in, in Bor. And pharmaceutical stores are required to regulate the sale of certain drugs and medications like tramadol and codeine. I think uh, Shabab and Agbe mix uh, some of these drugs. So, it's, it's causing a lot of problems. Um, what do you think about the governor's order, Bakumba? Yeah, 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 I was looking at that. When I read that story, I was just looking it up. I'm like, uh, number one, who is this? Who is this guy? Uh, did this guy, this guy, his name is Dr. Mojib Biel Trunk. So I'm, uh, yeah. I start wondering, uh, the, the yeah. guy have N- NCP, uh, NCPLM <laughs> DNA <laughs> or what? Because I, I remember, I remember during the liberation struggle, the, the, the one of the one of the main fundamental fundamental reason of fighting was for freedom, right? Yes, yes, freedom to go to church, freedom to go to a bar, freedom to go to a yeah. mosque, freedom to go to anywhere. Yeah. So when, when, when I read this directive, this this decree from this governor, I just wondering, okay, is this guy a uh, uh, NCP Bashir Bashir orphan children remnants or what? Because okay, okay, because, yeah, okay. because it doesn't make because number one, okay, on the serious one. So number one, it's mm. like uh, you need to this 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 doctor. I, I, I actually try to look him up, but the problem with the South Sudanese politicians is that you don't find their profile online. I don't know. Okay. I, I don't know whether he's a doctor in theology, theological or Islamic studies. I don't know. So <laughs> okay. you still have to figure out. I look. I, try, I really try to look him up, but I can't find. So yeah. my question is like, uh, in, number one is like he should ask himself why are the Jongole youth drinking? Mm. You are the governor of the state. Why, why are people drinking? Why do people wake up in the morning? 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. in the morning drinking. <clears throat> Because mm. people have no jobs. There are no economic opportunities. People have to, people have to release their stress somewhere just to, just, yeah. to, just, to, just to live for the next day. So mm-hmm. ask, ask yourself, just, just, you just want to pump some knowledge to this, uh, to this PhD holder. Yeah. Hopefully he's not, uh, he's not permanently head damage. <laughs> 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 okay. Actually, the young guy, by the way, I expect him to yeah. be progressive. When I, I okay. went to, when I went to his Facebook page, he actually looked young, vibrant, but he, mm-hmm. he need to he seemed to have these mundane ideas. But alcohol, yeah, you don't you <clears throat> when it comes to alcohol and other drugs, so 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 number one is like why are people actually drinking? Because there's mm-hmm. lack of economic activity, people are not busy. Number two, yeah. uh number two, to 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 actually be effective in your directive. Mm-hmm. My suggestion to him is uh, just regulate the The, 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 the hours where when alcohol yeah. is where, where those bars 
and those under yard are open and closed regulate yeah. the number they regulate the age limit of those people who are going there to drink yeah. or to enjoy yeah. themselves and 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 in that way you you yourself you are making you you're making money out of those businesses because because when you shut them you are going to even render more people jobless because mm-hmm. there's a lot of people rely on those kind of, on those kind of small businesses so that's my only advice today to 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 uh governor majup yeah mm-hmm. just rethink about it and then and then yeah because just i have i have not seen any presidents of somebody just shutting down entire in entire place that apart from the you know the the uh, the, the, the arabs and the muslim nations where they have oil and gas money the which can pay their people welfare our people don't have that luxury so please mm-hmm. yeah reconsider that decision yeah yeah, yeah. that's my small fears piece of advice to you yeah Yeah I think I think you're in support of the original Anyanya idea of letting <laughs> us drink our quet in peace. <laughs> we must have our freedom. That's what we fought okay. for. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, then is your thoughts. <laughs> uh, I don't know much about uh, Governor Majup. Um yeah. Uh there is no much profile online to to look him up. Okay. Um uh regardless of whether I agree with his uh, Islamic view or not. Mm-hmm. But I, I think there is a, a little bit of responsibility in that yes. kind of a sense. Okay. Uh, those pharmaceutical, like uh, the, the drugs that youth use, mm-hmm. uh, it need to be controlled uh, because government has a moral responsibility to make sure that the citizen are protected. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I did live in Egypt for four years. Uh, in Egypt, you can just okay. walk into pharmacy yeah. and order what kind of drugs that you want. And nobody is going to ask you. Okay. So there is no um medical authority that regulate what kind of a drugs you can take for your medication because you just assume that this is a kind of um sickness that I have and then you buy drug for it and you don't know the combination of all those drugs what yeah. it can cause you. So yeah. I think in that sense government has a moral responsibility to protect mm-hmm. our future generation. Uh, because we don't know um mm-hmm. what kind of a drugs that they're mixing and what is the, the effect of that. Uh, I think he's he's right in that sense but uh if we look on the other hand like uh if alcohol consumption is being controlled in sense of um uh, that they don't want people to drink mm-hmm. uh, I think it should be regulated in a way that um people freedom are not kind of um uh people are free to do whatever they want in terms yeah. of drinking recreation Yeah. but their freedom is not much taken away from them like you see in canada here yeah. uh alcohol is kind of um you are free to co- consume alcohol but it has to be at a certain time yes and there are some certain regulation like uh, for example you are not allowed to to drive and drink yes uh, it is a big no no so if yeah. it is in that sense i 100% support him yeah. but if it is kind of uh, motivated by his islamic belief or whatever Uh, I think uh, that could be uh, wrong on his side. So okay. that's my take on that one. Yeah. De- Dennis, while you're in Egypt, did you uh, know of the, the Blue Elephant? There's an Egyptian movie called The Blue Elephant. Gal Jamade Lindo Makadarata Ninta Kandugu Wahed Zade, you see a Blue Elephant. Okay. Uh, Anna, um, the time that I was staying in Egypt, um, yeah. My knowledge of a different kind of a drug was not that up to date, but I, <laughs> okay. I, I know about um, Sarasir. Um, but okay. I heard that Sarasir also has been in 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 South Sudan. Okay. Toronto, Those are kind of a drugs that are they're being they're using. Yeah. And and Toronto boys has been causing a lot of um, problems in Juba. Yeah. Problems in Juba. Uh, yeah. They are the people who are uh, snatching people's cell phone. They're beating people, and even yeah. in Egypt. Fi juzi min shabab ya numan bedor be fanga yani they they kind of um he stay by the western union side nasal brasulum grush in north america they go yeah. and then they take money away from them and yeah. they have given junubin a bad name the time that junubin was staying uh, junubin like people who are in egypt like yes. they have given um junubin a bad name like yeah. uh, egyptian they look at us and anena nas mujrimin anena katala yeah yeah, yeah. So um going back to what the governor did uh, I think um if it is in that sense yeah. I think it is a moral responsibility to make sure that our youth are not into drugs are not into gangs are not into all those kind of uh, criminal activity 
Okay. I think maybe some Cairo Toronto made it to Bor, you know, the Mayan <laughs> people. So, so, <laughs> so the governor is, is, is right in that sense, I guess. Uh, but really, the, the, the drug issues, you see, uh, these days I've seen pic, uh, videos of, 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 of the new drugs that these young people uh, have. Yeah. Albuku to Zolbukun, the zombie. And, mm-hmm. and you see, like people go around, and Africans, we we deal with them differently. Oruzol Kofal Tamam Kid, and they jump out of their drug state back to reality. Yeah. So, so it's um, yeah. I I think the governor is trying, mm-hmm. uh, but but there should be more than yeah. just an order, right? An order, yeah, yeah. 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 Just adding the, more to that. Just yeah, adding the, more to what enforce, enforcement, 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 yeah. issue, right? Yeah. How do you enforce yeah. that issue? Yeah, and mm. then and and then the other the uh, the 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 there should be a link between be, 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 between illegal and legal drugs, right? So they they yeah. have to be that line of legal and illegal drugs. Yeah, mm-hmm. like what, mm-hmm. what, what, what 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 Dennis and mentioned is like we are talking about illegal and regulated drug market, whether it's a pharmacy, whether it's whether 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 it's a is the underground drug market, yes. which is obviously criminal everywhere in the world. So, but yeah. but the, but the, 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 for me, my main idea is the total ban on on legal, legal, legal recreational activities, which mm-hmm. are technically not considered as drugs. So, it's, mm-hmm. it, there, there has to be a line. We need to draw a line where 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 where, where there's illegality and there's legality. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to our second story from South Sudan. A video went viral this week in South Sudan, and of course, all over the internet. Mm. And it cracked many people up, including Vice President Waniga and Honorable Dengalor. Mm. General Mamur uh, used a Dinka metaphor, and some of us did not understand a thing. So personally, I had to make uh, some long-distance calls, you know, to, 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 to get whatever the meaning is behind that. And my call ended up in Western Australia to my good friend, Dr. Ajak Duany Ajak, who is the proprietor of Dufiko Polytechnic in Bortown. We had a lengthy conversation, but I'll let you in on a, on, on, on a brief about what the general's uh, metaphor means. My colleague who came with my brother, Dengalor, Pihaja Bikelemube Rotan Putana, Galik and Belet Karabu, when things go offhand, Etong Monjang, Eluel Kanga Duk Tulto. Asan kalami nizamu, asan aja rija ze ma kan bedri, lazi ma bi wahidu aja de pichultok. Achepe mahaltan. Ajak believes that General Mamur is amongst a few of the equatorial leaders who have an advanced comprehension of the Jiang or Dinka language. Mm. He says he may sometimes use phrases uh, which are advanced and which some Jeng even may not use because they shy away from using them. Uh, but here's the meaning of the little phrase that Mr. Mamur used, uh, General Mamur used. Basically, it means uh, everything has reverted back to the head of the male organ. The phrase means things, when things get tough, everybody will start looking after his father's household first. No one will start looking after or caring for someone else before taking care of his father's blood line or siblings. In other words, you start taking care of those from whom you come from the same groin. Including <laughs> uh, Dennis, did you come across the video? Yeah, I did come across the video. Um, it is very hilarious. Um, yes. uh, I don't understand Dinka. Yes. Though I know some few phrases, but I don't uh, understand Jing language uh, in general. Mm. Uh, but I think uh, it is a good it's a good uh, thing to happen among our politicians. Like um, it kind of a bring sense of unity among people. Mm. It is just very strange. So like um, not a strange in sense, but it is just something beautiful to see somebody else speaking mm. your language. Yeah. For example, I am from Wow, and then if I heard somebody from Equatoria speaking. Uh, I will naturally have that sense of connection. Okay. And then, <clears throat> um, like, it is just a good thing to see somebody from other place is speaking your language. It kind of a bring kind of a good sense of connection between you and mm-hmm. them. Um, before we used to see um, our chairman, Garang, yes. whenever he go to place, 
yeah. he speak pe- he speak to people in their own language okay. when he address the military he speak to military with their own language and yeah. and people kind of naturally connect with him yeah. and adding and more <laughs> yeah and adding yeah. more to that um yeah. this week i saw um video of a young tycoon dancing okay. to to cook, uh to what uh to for music, music. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it went viral okay. but people was kind of uh, like people they were kind of uh, very happy to see him dancing yeah. and that video also went viral uh i think um uh general uh obote mamur yes he has a very advanced um jing language yeah like yeah because when you speak a language and then you speak uh, you understand their proverb you understand their um uh like different kind of phrases is just something beautiful to see people yeah. uh, speaking uh, different languages yeah and they are kind of um, uh are able to make that kind of a connection and connect people to their topic So yeah. I think in my in my mind, like I think it is a good thing to see that okay. happening yeah okay yeah I, I think the general went to school in the in the Dinka areas right in Malek he went to school in Malek so he grew up you know and and that's that's the beautiful thing about for example setting up all those secondary schools mm-hmm. where people from Malakal say come to Ye and then people from Kapoita go to Wow mm-hmm. you know like what Ghana did with the uh, school system Mm-hmm. You, you 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 let the schools mix up the students so that people are not limited to the area same thing in Tanzania same thing in Kenya it mm-hmm. brings that cultural and uh, national unity unity exactly nobody is uh, limited to their local area well kefia yeah, bakumba yeah 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 just to add on that point yeah yeah it's it's not only Ghana and Tanzania actually south sudan did it during the during those uh Uh, the, the, period, I think, the old days least, yeah yeah the old days of the south government i remember all yeah. all our uncles and our fathers were in rumbek secondary in rumbek yeah. Yeah, yeah they they were in rumbek secondary and people people were just mixing up and everything was just yeah, and people from mm-hmm. board come to like loka you know that's right for, for, yeah, for secondary schools so. come to loka mm-hmm. and this, so mm-hmm. that, yeah. that's the sense of national unity that we need and and of course they 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 are new i mean they they, they fund the politics you know when When Obutu Mamuru was talking, it's just so funny, you know. Sometimes yeah, you need to yeah. relax, you need to chill <laughs> yeah. out, guys. You don't have to be serious all the time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's always a very it's, it's good to laugh. It's good to, yeah. to 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 come up with those phrases, and yeah, that's a, that's the beauty of the country, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I I remember those days when Solid Rock, uh, the late uh, Eliaba Surur would come for mobilization in the liberated areas, and even even uh, Comrade Waniga, the vice president. They they are always funny people. So yeah. one of Waniga's stories, for example, was about a fox. We were children, but I still remember the story until today. So it's it's good when politicians are taking it easy, and yeah. there's no need to shoot each other with guns and all that. So it it, it makes the democracy and the politics grow. Yeah. So good for our nation. Yeah, I I think also uh, did it, it kind of a. Uh, um, it kind of uh, demystify like the myth uh, things that we believe are the, about the other people yeah you know you know like um when like i i i'm certain that people have a different beliefs about different people in south sudan yes kina yes. salgadi believe gal gibila devman bitala marfina to devitala kadai so devitala Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. so people have a different belief but yeah. when you live in those area you kind of uh, come to terms of what is real and what is not yeah. and it kind of a uh, kind of a bring more bring people together kind of yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah definitely so we, we all enjoyed the general's uh, short video I, i i tried to find the long form but i could not maybe uh, yeah share your thoughts and comments on our platforms on yazul tv on youtube Yazol TV on Facebook and all over. Um and and let us know what you thought of the general's comments. Yazol. At the parliament in Juba, Monday raised concerns about the poor state of the Juba International Airport. The lawmakers noted that, that there were challenges facing the airport including lack of proper terminals, flooded runways making it hard for planes to land sometimes, insecurity and crime because of unrestricted movement of people and vehicles even onto the runway, especially Uh, when people are receiving uh, dead relatives bodies from foreign countries they drive right into the runway so um this followed deliberations on the amendment bill 2024 for the south sudan civil aviation act 
Of course, Transport Minister Madut Piariel said the government was doing its best to fix some of the issues, in, uh, including construction of gates to control the movement of vehicles onto the runway. His ministry has temporarily worked on the uh, airport drainage system to avoid flooding. It seems there's a lot of issues at the airport. Maybe the minister should do more. We don't want South Sudan to be looking like the only ghetto country in Africa, right? Um, the deputy leader of the IO, SPLIO, that's Nathaniel Oye. He, he mentioned, girl, they do travel abroad and they do see the quality of the airports around the world. We should make our own, our own airport be at, up to that standard. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, I've not been in Juba <clears throat> for, for, for many, 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 many years since since mm. since, 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 since we left Juba in ninety two. But they, they are, I think I think the the reports that I hear from people and the the pictures that we see, Juba yeah. Juba International Airport is in deplorable state, definitely. Like it's not, yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's not a good standard. And uh it's incumbent on the government to mm. I mean that, that's the national pride first. You know, that's yeah. the center of everything when people mm. learn and when people learn and they just find there's there's no proper runaways or they there's flooding all over the place. Like what is the Im what image does it send to the world about the country, right? Mm -hmm. So so it's it's it's, it's, it's those who are responsible. Like that is the it does just it's just basic thing, the airport, the healthcare, the school system, something that can bring pride to the people. That is uh, I think it's it's just too basic. Instead mm -hmm. instead of yeah, the, no matter how much no matter how much people are corrupt, how much people are stealing. At least invest in the airport. Like let, 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 let's have an image that in South Sudan we are also a country like any other any other place. Those 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 same leaders they travel all over the place. You go to our next door neighbor here, uh, uh, even in Tebe Airport, it's, it's mm -hmm. not it's not it's not it's not to the best of the standard, but it's still it's still good. Ethiopia mm -hmm. is building large delay. <clears throat> they're gonna have the largest airport in Africa right now. Big investments like crazy. Rwanda, mm -hmm. like Rwanda is. Doing crazy stuff. People who yeah. the country who has no oil, nothing. They only have the human resource and the and their land for agriculture. So I yeah. think if it's a it's a choice. So if South Sudan, we can always do better. We can always yeah. do better than that. We're supposed to be the big, technically one of the biggest one economies. Technically, we can we yeah. can beat all the other nations, but we are not looking in that picture. We look at our yeah. neighbor, think they are better than us, but we're actually better than them by far when it comes to human and natural resources so i hope yeah. somebody's out there to 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 to, to improve the airport and just get the shame out of this car uh, 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 from that airport yeah the last time i was in that airport was 1992 and you know where where where, where our <laughs> where the terminal building was the terminal yes. building was a bridge when you cross that bridge yeah and you enter the runaway that is yeah. your, that's your terminal building <laughs> okay. yeah. you, enter, you enter the sudan airways cargo plane and you sit <laughs> yeah 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 um yeah Jup yeah. juba airport uh i think in the past uh half of the century was uh one of the critical hubs in africa actually um when the british were flying for example during the second world war flying to cairo they would have to land in juba first right because it's on your way so right. it's it's centrally and strategically placed on the African continent. There, there's there's a lot of potential for that airport to be used um, for for transcontinental uh, flights. So it should be tackled. You 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 clean your own house first, and when visitors are coming, especially you want yeah. them to to see an image of you that is you know conducive. You you don't throw a sucker if 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 kasmabab. And then somebody is coming through that door. So sort out the airport and make us look good out there. Dennis, your thoughts? Um, I think like um, Bakumba have said and you have said as well, um, yeah. a national airport is uh, the pride of the nation and it is yes. a face of the nation, something that yeah. you see first when you learn. Yeah. Uh, I was impressed when I, I learned it in Ethiopia. Yeah. Um, like uh, being in England, uh Airthrow airport there was no mm -hmm. wi-fi but in ethiopian uh airport you have a free yeah. wi-fi it was yeah. kind of a, something very impressive for me to see that happening mm -hmm. um when i landed in juba uh it was just very devastating mm -hmm. even the washroom to go to the washroom it was just very devastating there was no proper maintained uh washroom but mm -hmm. that was in 2012 okay. uh, uh 
I think there has been a significant improvement in the, yeah. like a uh, maintenance of the like uh, the airport that uh, they have uh, built some other facility in yeah. that airport. But I think the issue is maybe will be with the maintaining it because for you to have a good airport, you need to maintain, you, you need to make sure that it is clean properly. You need to, uh, to, to make sure that the, the switch system is properly maintained. And then corruption is corruption, right? Uh, like if uh, the system is corrupted, it also kind of um, spill over to some other sector of the, 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 the economy. Like uh, airport, you'll find that people will take contract, but they are not doing anything. They are getting paid. And um, you find that there is a lot of things going wrong uh, with, the, with the airport. So I think um, the, the wing that has been built up, it look, yeah. re it, it look really good, but yeah. I think it needs to be properly maintained. Okay. Because if it is not maintained, what is going to happen is, um, I think... Uh, in the, all the international airport, they have a kind of a standard because of okay. safety. And if you don't meet it, then some flight may not uh, come on your way. Like uh, there, there are some, some, some flight will be restricted mm -hmm. or your flight will be restricted of going to some other countries as well. Like you are, we don't have planes and stuff like that ourselves. Yeah. But if your airport is not properly maintained, it will become a safety concern mm -hmm. and uh, you may not get a lot of revenue from your flight that kind of a passing through uh, your airport, I guess. Okay. That's good. So we are living in biblical times indeed. Um, Dr. Martin Elia Lomuro was quoted saying, uh, we are assigned by the Bible to lead our people this time around. Your time will come. So give us the opportunity as the Bible says. He made the remarks on Wednesday this week in Juba defending the extension of the transitional period and the postponement of the elections, which was slated for December this year to 2026, saying, uh, saying there will be no more extension thereafter. Uh, the U.S. Ambassador in Juba, Michael J. Adler, and some international peace partners have expressed their reservations about the decision, of course, saying the government should prioritize the welfare of the people over elite privileges. And Martin said, I am not even surprised that you did not support the roadmap. You did not support the ex uh, this extension. That is fine, but we can be sure about this, that we will not let South Sudan go to war again. The minister responded. The decision by the government was, of course, rubber stamped by the parliament too. Uh, the parliament responded quickly because the proposed constitutional amendment must be introduced in parliament one month before deliberations on its amendment. And of course, this in this case, the deadline is September 22nd of this month. Uh, so back to the Bible question was, the minister referring to Isaiah chapter 18, Dennis, or was he uh, making reference to the idea of uh, swearing by the Bible when you're taking the oath of office? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what Bible he was referring to and what God he was referring to. Is it okay. the God of, God of this world or the almighty God? Okay. Because there are gods of this world too, like uh, you can refer to them as well. Okay. Um, I think religion is one of the um, of the things that people use to mm -hmm. numb. Like uh, a lot of people say that uh, religion is uh, the opium of the mass, right? Mm -hmm. uh, religion is one of the things that uh, it it has been used by the politician, and it is is still being used uh, to to kind of uh, bring kind of a political agenda that uh, they wanna uh, they wanna bring. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we have seen. Even in the North America, we have a Bible bell. Okay. Uh, people who are conservative, they have a Bible bell. Uh, mm -hmm. They kind of, uh, whatever is being mentioned with religion, they kind of uh, blindly believe in it. Okay. Uh, thank God, Junubin have passed that. Junubin are not like people in the North that are, uh, we, we kind of uh, separate between religion and the thing of the state. Okay. Uh, Junubin are consciously about that. You cannot kind of a tejile junubinu to washum be kalam te din they cannot buy that for you yeah yeah versus people in the north it is easy to to kind of uh come with the religion sentiment and deceive them okay so um is lomoro religious himself i'm not sure i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know, Maybe people should let us know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know him personally but yeah. uh i think it is not a, a good thing to come uh with the religious sentiment and uh, and say that we are being called by God to lead in this time. Mm -hmm. um, what proof do you have? Mm -hmm. uh, I know that people who are chosen by God, they don't choose themselves. Mm 
they are yeah. being chosen and and people can know that there is something unique about these people mm-hmm. uh that they are uh they are the product of that time uh we can see that there is that calling in their life mm-hmm. without them saying that we have this calling um I know that all of us you know been we have seen there are time that and in a you know been we went through and mm-hmm. we have leaders and we can know that those real leaders are appointed at this time they have calling at this time to mm-hmm. lead us in the difficult time that we have do yeah. we see that in the uh, do we see that in Lomoro do we that's a, that's a question so mm-hmm. you cannot be um self appointed prophet mm-hmm. and say that god has appointed me to do so and so and so uh, okay. I, I don't think it will be, it will fly mm-hmm. uh for uh, for a lot of juno bean okay. okay yeah but bakumba what are some of the thoughts people expressed online about uh, the, the the minister's uh, comment oh yeah so the minister's comment was yeah, he got bashed properly yeah that's what okay. that's what you've been do so when you okay. <laughs> when you make <laughs> when you when you make a stupid statement you're gonna get bashed so a lot, okay. a lot of a, a lot of our on, on uh, a lot of the the uh, the, 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 the christian army the bible scholars online obviously yes. hit him hit him hard and yeah. because because because, yeah, because the thing is like you can't you, you can't go selectively when it comes to the bible right? you select what fits you it doesn't yeah. work like that so the, the bible is a big book so you're always going to get hit hard so mm-hmm. there, there, there are a lot of co- co- comments that I don't, I, I don't want to go through them, but they're very, very hilarious in the sense yeah. that Nomoro <laughs> <laughs> no got hammered properly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, wow. So, uh, yeah, so what the, what, one thing is like, uh, if, if you say you are selected by God, a lot of mm. people say, you know, the voice of the people is the voice of God. So I'm, I'm wondering who, 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 which constituency that Lomoro represents. <laughs> Apart mm-hmm. from be, being in the Minister of Presidential Affairs, so that is, a, that is a good question you need to answer. But yeah, okay. you cannot you cannot go selectively selecting what fits you just the same way the the, the charlatans and the Christian fundamentalists <laughs> they select they select whatever fits them, you know, <laughs> to, yeah. to 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 either enrich themselves or to in to 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 to, to oppress other people. Yeah, yeah. The, the white did it against the blacks. You, you selectively selecting voices on the Bible. That uh, yeah. slaves obey your master, and yeah. our people suffer 400 years just for a few verses here and there. You know, so we need to be we need to be careful we, we, what we read. So uh, then, and then the other thing I was look I, the same thing I was also looking up um, uh, the, 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 the the PhD he's called doctor so he's PhD holder. I wonder yes. whether this guy is whether he came from the biblical studies or what. I could not find a clue. So please, go, uh, guys online, if you are there. Just dig out <laughs> where, what, what PhD Lomora has. It's very yeah. important. I, I couldn't find anything online, which is very yeah. funny for these PhD holders in South Sudan. We need, yeah. we need to have your information online. Like People need to be yeah. able to know where which school you studied, what you studied. It's very important. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. When, whether you studied theological studies or Islamic studies or whatever studies, we don't know mm-hmm. right now. Okay. But just pick and choose yeah. whatever you want yeah. to choose from the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so did i have something to, to to just add a little bit now um, yeah go ahead, go ahead yeah there is a danger also in the statement like um when you say that god has appointed me mm-hmm. so the other question is like anybody yeah. who oppose you yeah that means that person is against god of course yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so um that that is um uh, something that people use like a uh, uh, kind of a psychological tactics that people use uh, to kind of numb your feeling say that yeah. okay god, god has appointed me to do and uh, this and this and this but the question that people always ask are you doing that are you doing what god has appointed you to do Mm-hmm. Because being in that kind of a position, you should make sure that people receive their salary on time. Mm-hmm. People are people are being taken care of. Uh, you are doing your duty as a person that God has appointed you. But you just lay on your back. Naim Gafa, you are not doing. <laughs> you are not doing what you are supposed to do. Yeah. And then you say that God has appointed me uh, to lead you at this time. Uh, I think that it is inconsistent. Okay. In my opinion, so I, 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 I think the leader should go and open the church, become yeah. a speaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I just wanna ask all the viewers, maybe when you have a kind of a survey and it's only dictator that you know, learn on our you know people get our dictator if they sally, yeah, that's our dictator. 
لا زي ما قلت في 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 عجور ناس بقى مول دكتور لايك ا لوت اوف يا سو ذير از ا لوت اوف دكتور ات هاز بين واتر داون لايك ا دكتور سو ما ات از كريزي يعني ايه تبقى الجزول اقل يعني بس دكتور فلان دكتور فلان طبعا ات از ات از ات از فيري فيموس امانج كريستيان كوميونيتي Uh, doctor, uh, doctor, uh, 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 apostle, okay. doctor, uh, bishop, yeah. doctor, and yeah. Uh, yeah so, <laughs> and then that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, um, it's 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 bound to get to somewhere. You know, certain things. I, I keep saying religion is a very touchy issue sometimes, right? So, yeah. Also, dead woman in Kenya had twelve boyfriends. You know, a lady called La Cheng was very popular on TikTok. She recently died and was buried this past week. During her burial, guess what? Itnasha Rarojal showed up in front of the crowd. Jerima. Jamadel Maro for girl, they were all mingling up with this one, one person. Jamadel, uh, Jamadel, Itnasha, I wonder whether they, whether they're they living, they, whether they're actually living in the same city or they live, they live must be like very smart in in planes yeah. and traveling around they 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 they, they are very funny yeah, yeah. and then and and, the, and and i think since he's a famous tiktoker they maybe there's a financial aspect on it you know shabab del the, those 12 guys might be yeah. might be fighting for something right you, you, you need to be the rightful owner of the whether it's the tiktok account <laughs> or whatever yeah. whatever financial benefits they can get from from from, from this lady Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, yeah, I change, I think, yeah, I mean, yeah, she has done well, eh, playing, playing those guys, <laughs> grown, grown, grown up men, been played to help grown up men, been played. <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah, that's a master player. That's a Dennis. master player. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your thoughts? Yeah. yeah, I think there must be this kind of incentive for all those boyfriends to come out, because okay. like, um, Rajal Kida, Rajal Dakar Kida, Mambo Kida, Amal Kalam Zeda, and yeah. Zola la mindo come in boyfriend and you still want to be identify as a boyfriend uh. no they, they they actually didn't know each other ma, ma, the mc called gala boyfriend they can leja they respect gidamna so then all of a sudden i'm uh. coming you are coming bakumba is coming there's one two three more uh. and then we realize oh i'm a boyfriend you are a boyfriend everybody's a boyfriend uh. so they didn't know each other she, yeah. she was a good 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 cia kind of person Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, but it still it is very unnatural for me like uh, <laughs> for me um women are different they are not wired like men um, yeah. uh, I could be wrong but uh, women are are monogamous in their relationship mm-hmm. uh, versus men men uh, have um, uh, most of the time men are the one being uh, accused of uh, being uh, polygamous polygamous huh? Yeah, but women are monogamous by their very nature. Like uh, Marakan Katara, Enofi, Rajil Wahid. Yeah. Maybe I'm uh, I'm delusional, but <laughs> that, that that's that's the nature. <laughs> that's the nature. They, they say men can cheat, but women can cheat better. So we were. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Gal Rujal is 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 you know ours is not easy to lie. Yeah. But but Nuswan they they are very subtle, right? So it's easy for them. <laughs> um yeah. yeah and and talking talking about <laughs> polygamy and women being very subtle this story is from london of course related to nigeria yeah a nigerian man in the uk has been detained after he allegedly <laughs> impregnated not one but three women talata his wife his wife's sister and his wife's mother mother-in-law basically yeah. Kundu, yeah. malian deep mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. take nigeria and they serve wala So, I think yeah go ahead yeah yeah go 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 ahead I think something is wrong with mm. the picture um in my uh in my opinion was it consensual mm. or he has forced himself on those women He's not um, a really rape yet Yeah, yeah n- n- none of them none of them complain of being raped so it it, it seems very very yeah. consensual Yeah so if it is consensual yeah so it is the mistake of the mother in law and it is a mistake of the sister in law because wh- Dennis, what is I- it really a mistake they want to share they want to share everything together yeah they're just sharing this african you know black yeah. and tall yeah. dark and handsome yeah but because women yeah, by the way sorry 
<laughs> yeah, because women have the the access. Uh, like uh, women have um that like uh, they are the one giving the access, right? Yes. Yeah, and has to interagil kanga de kala mamara and she kind of stop you has at the early stage you get legal hey i don't like you talking to me in that way i don't, men will not progress most men yani rujal khawafin yani to that extent yani masalo go legal i am your sister in law why are you talking to me like that rajal to will stop him mahalla but but if you allow those kind of a small talk to progress that's where yeah. it leads to bed yeah. Yeah. So, Anna Benizbele, if it is consensual, yeah. then it is not, it is not, uh, let people not uh, condemn me, Leonardo can put in the mistake. But, uh, <laughs> Anna Bitkele, those women are the ones that give this man uh, uh, access. Consent. Yeah, access, con- yeah. Yeah, okay. access yeah, and uh, consent. As you name, like damn Leonardo. Otherwise, um, women have the, um, the control legal mama for them shall add but uh yeah so i will blame this man if mm. it was to be a rap yeah, yeah. look okay. and the rapping i will yeah. blame the man who will care but if it is consensual i think yeah. something is wrong with the picture um there is yeah. something wrong with those th- two women Mostly like Yal Del Zatu can well do now one one of them is going to be the uncle of the other brother <laughs> it is it's too confusing yeah. Mm-hmm. Because the grandmother is going to give birth Jenna Dagbokon uncle. And mm-hmm. then these ones are going to be cousins and brothers at the same time. It's just too convoluted. It's too yeah. messed up. Yeah, but but the, 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 only the good news is like the DNA wise, me, medical wise, actually it's not it, it's not it's not gonna affect them that hard. <laughs> <laughs> because there's no there's no relation between yeah them. yeah so, but 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 kawaja the musu 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 no swante kawaja to le yeah kawaja tai yeah yeah but kawaja yeah kawaja yeah kawaja wanted just yeah muki 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 the 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 daughter tell told the mother kale wala zole zole sab kale kili kili ma ma umo umo to ask my kid kale kana jeri but the men generally zole ta ni jeri yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, my most most girl girl no swan sometimes can can see debate. Barack about akel quest. Mata rafa ta kas mata kile sula ta hela. Jena de, I mean Jake de fat. You know they they they. they yeah, so they, so did he was the man arrested for incest? Ah uh, well, they they arrested him. I guess for yeah it could be for incest it could be for many things right yeah mm-hmm. um, but they, yeah, they, yeah but yeah, i but think what, what do I, they call it um they, there's a name for that kind of crime yeah yeah i think it's a yeah. name I, I, yeah uh, if, if yeah. somebody has if somebody can get it quickly on the comments that will appreciate yeah they say yeah yeah there's a name they, for they, it but yeah it, but it, it just kept my mind but yeah yeah, yeah there's a name for it yeah me too they, yeah. They, 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 they my mind but but yeah, yeah which is which is very rare to actually to to to, to, to prosecute yeah. in court it's very rare yeah. because yeah. because because if i'm that if 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 i'm the lawyer of that guy i think they, 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 i think that court will, is going to be on fire <laughs> 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 because of the consensual yeah. part right <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah so it's yeah. going to be but, but, very interesting case yeah 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 as, well. as a south african teacher in the Eastern Cape province has been dismissed with immediate effect from her job because of sexual misconduct involving a 13-year-old boy. So the teacher at uh, uh, Faramakulo Primary School touched and wanted the boy to kiss her. Three charges were lab- labeled against the teacher committing sexual harassment by attempting to kiss her pupil, prejudicing the right of a pupil to learn peacefully, and conducting herself in improper and gr- uh, dis- disgraceful manner. Of course, the incidents happened last year, 2023, and this uh, pupil has now changed schools and is in grade eight. So this teacher has been fired. It's 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 crazy that um, this grown up teacher wants to chew this little boy who should be concentrating on his schoolwork. <laughs> you know, um, but honestly, I, I I don't understand. Sometimes teenagers they they. You, you know, if 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 you you mess them up at that level, it, it's going to mess them down the road. You are supposed to be the teacher showing them the right way. Well, okay, Dennis. Uh, I think um, 
these uh, teachers, uh, there is there is um, a moral obligation to arrest yeah. that teacher to yeah. to set an example for for other teachers. Yeah. Um, being in um, in the middle school myself, like at the time I was in the middle school, there was a lot of thing going, but it was the other way around. It wasn't um, a female teacher kind of uh, playing around with the with the male student. Yeah. But it was uh, most of the time it was a male teacher kind of um, going for having the yeah yeah going for the female student, and nothing was done like uh, a lot a lot just um, swap under the rug and nothing mm-hmm. was done. But I think it is something that going forward uh, we should take it very serious because uh, being a pupil in this uh, in the school you are not still of age, and at the same time uh, you are being sexually harassed. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the teacher, uh, even though it is not called, it is not arrest in in that sense. But if it is not consensual, yeah. or you are not of age to make that kind of a decision, uh, I think a person who is of age, which is which happened to be a teacher, mm-hmm. they should be um, they should be disciplined. That's all. The thing is, she did not attempt only once. It it happened many times. At one instance, for example, or or Asolo, like all the students out. And then she put this one, one of the witnesses actually was told to stand at the door and the door was locked. So she was left in the room with the boy. She was trying to do whatever. And so that boy who was told to wait at the door was one of the witnesses. So she tried to deny it and sweep it under the rug, telling the, you know, the prosecuting group, uh, because it's, it's the, the, the group that runs the schools that dismissed her. She was trying to say Galo or Fadul if you because she was trying to discipline him for whatever. But it turned out to be a lie. She really was going to chew this poor little boy. Bakumba, you remember the high school days in boarding school? Sit there and Jerry Buma, you know, we couldn't give Satanica. They are they got the happy high school. You know, when you're in boys' school, you are the, yeah, you, you are you are locked up in that boarding school. Can teacher yeah. can can arm attacker can any teacher come like that? Ah, the boys the boys will kill her without any yeah. benefit of doubt. The boys will that, be very receptive. But but, but remember, <laughs> but remember that, 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 that at least we're talking about the age of high school, right? So that's high school. school. Yeah, this is yeah, primary bit, school. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. it's a little bit different when you are 16, 17, approaching 18. Yeah. That's the time you are. I mean, your adrenaline and your, yeah. your, 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 the hormones are working hard. So, yeah, yeah, she could have been chewed properly. But, yeah, yeah it's, but it's just a crime that whatever she did is still a crime and it's always going to be a crime. But, yeah, yeah, but, but I remember those days, yeah, when, 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 so some of those teachers too, man, you guys need to sometimes used to drive you uh, as crazy. This, the boy, the boy <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dennis, you know, <laughs> for Kenya, one of the girls' schools, Mm-hmm. Um, they they decided to chew their watchman because Bernard yes. the woman Carmen is the other. Mafia, 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 Ninety days, so mm-hmm. they chewed the watchman. Um, I, I saw people's comments online last time about Nuswan Alkan. They were going around grabbing people, men off the street. Everybody was volunteering themselves <laughs> to go to Zimbabwe to be grabbed by those women. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but yeah, this, this teacher really is is crazy. Yeah. Uh, well, well, it does so care. Thirteen years old. Let him be. Let him finish let school. Him, let him be a kid, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But but I, I'm sorry to think. Um, because um, uh, talking about the witness. Uh, mm. uh, was there any kind? Because uh, now we are just hearing one witness, right? Mm. Maybe Mara does on Mashama. Well, if you are uh. He, she was going to discipline Jennifer for maybe whatever reason, but maybe is there any kind of a conspiracy against the teacher or something no, happening? No, no, no. There, there, there's mm-hmm. actually uh, evidence and proof because it didn't happen mm-hmm. only once. No once, okay. It happened so many times, and even the other students knew about it. So, okay. and, and you know, in legal terms, you mm-hmm. don't go for one witness. It's like several witnesses, mm-hmm. and then if you can't defend yourselves, then it's like credible witnesses, right? Mm-hmm. Be, because the it's I think the other students also knew, mm-hmm. and then in one instance, for example, teacher day she took off running to her car, so mm-hmm. you, you know like it's not one 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 situation, mm-hmm. so it's really credible. Like she, it's she credible, was, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a credible situation. Okay.
Yeah, now you're getting into dangerous territory. You know, if you don't behave, Jelda, sort, sort, suko. <laughs> so there's a video doing the rounds on the internet. I think it was uh, in a South African church. Bakumba did not like something in the video. So Bakumba Malu, it had Jelda do Messi Hindel, Fijo Akinisa, Alela. <laughs> yeah, back to the church. I, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm sorry for 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 the for the strongly religious guys that today we, we, we were talking about religion actually about this is the third time we're talking about it. But yeah, yeah, but this video went around, you know, yeah. of, uh, of 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 this so-called church quote in quote. Like, mm. like uh, I know a, a bunch of people doing some ridiculous things that are not that that ungodly and African. Mm-hmm. And and anti everything basically, yeah. The, yeah. The, 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 I, I, I just saw a bunch of con- congregants, you know, mm-hmm. playing play some stupid whether they do or stupid games, basically sexual games of busting balloons, men and women ha- running towards with the balloon, busting on each other. Like I don't know whether they're busting the devil or the busting whatever in their in, in, in their spirituality at that moment. I have no idea. But mm. I think that for me, as, as, as a Christian, as somebody who grew up in the church, who understands how the church runs, these are the kind of churches that need to be whipped. Then as I tell that they'll then ask them. So they bring <laughs> bad name to the church, they bring yeah. bad name to the church to the good Christian, they bring yeah. bad name, bad image of everything to the, to, to the religion that we love. So now they base, can you say that? Sort yeah. based to go so to go so to go through at the same time, yeah. 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 yeah, so it's an embarrassment. And 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 I hope, I, I, I hope you know, other people and other people don't copy that. There are a lot of things that are going around with the church, so so stupid things like church is a place where we go and worship and we get in nourish spiritual nourishment. End of story, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. not not to spend okay. sexual games. You know some 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 X-rated stuff in in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in, a, in a holy in a holy place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, ita konas malela. Bakumba jela dino. Always be on the watch out. The man mafi. Bakumba bija jela dita sakit ya zol. So be careful. When you hear that sound, you know what time it is. It's Beyond the Beats with Dennis Lisa. Um, One Love, the latest biopic starring British actor Kingsley Benadir. It tells the story of the legendary Jamaican reggae artist, popularly known as Bob Marley, and that's Robert Nesta Marley, who became a leading voice for reggae music and also the associated lifestyle of the Rastafarians. Abu Mali, of course, died 40 years ago from melanoma-related complications. Some fans still believe that he was killed uh, suspiciously through a pin that was put in his boot and the pin was poisoned. Um, so Ziggy Mali and the Marley family arrived at a perfect time and the script to make this movie. I haven't watched it uh, personally, but I think uh, Dennis did watch it. So our resident music expert will give us his thoughts. Oh, thanks, Didi. Uh, I think knowing much about Bob Marley, um, by the way, I start listening first to reggae music before I start listening to African music. So African music came after my love for reggae music. So um, for that movie, it is a good attempt. Let me say that it is a good attempt to have a biopic uh, movie for Bob Marley, but I will give it a solid um, C minus. Uh, for the movie uh, and I have many reasons why I'm doing that um, first of all I don't have an issue with uh, with the actor uh, the actor is British he's not Jamaican but he did not bad in terms of the accent in terms of the um, uh, the persona like the, 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 the kind of a bring the persona of Bob Marley he did very well on that but it's still something is missing uh, in the movie, a lot of things is missing in the movie. First of all, some some part of uh, a story of Bob Marley was kind of uh, omitted uh, about Bob Marley, 
Rastafarian faith because that's where his music is set on. Uh, not a lot has been said about Bob, uh, Bob Marley faith. That's one thing. And the second thing is about his extramarital affairs. Uh, it was just kind of a brush off uh, kind of a thing, but it kind of, uh, to give it authentic, um, uh, to, to play a kind of an authentic life of Bob Marley, all those elements, because that's what makes Bob Marley who he is. But in the movie, it was kind of a, it was not brought in. It was kind of a, something that was kind of a, a brush off. Uh, that's one thing. And then the script, to me, the script is not kind of a detail. Uh, it is kind of a very kind of a shallow script. Uh, Bob Marley in England, uh, Bob Marley came back and then like there is not a lot of meat to, to the script of Bob Marley. So I would say it is a good attempt. Uh, it didn't give a full uh, detail of Bob Marley life, but it is kind of an kind of outline. But the thing that I'm not happy about is a lot of omission. A lot of omission that happened and i can understand that because uh the movie was produced by ziggy marley the son of uh, bob marley and then he doesn't want to portray the other extra marital affairs of his dad maybe that could be the reason so because some of the song that was played in the movie like um, um turn your light down low bob marley wrote that song for cindy which is uh, who is uh, one of uh, bob marley uh, girlfriends but in the movie it is it is it is kind of a said that it is uh, written for rita marley which is not true so <laughs> so that has, uh, that's something that uh, i didn't like in the movie because um, if you you have to make a biopic of a, of a of a singer you have to you have to come up with a credible story regardless of whether um you may you may agree with something that bob marley did or not but you have to come up with a story that people know that it is life of uh, Bob Marley. So again, I will say it is a good movie, uh, but a lot is missing. It is kind of uh, very shallow. But you you can you can watch the movie to support to support so that another movie is being done again so that uh, we can get a, a good um, um, full story of Bob Marley. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Let's go international now. And we are going to the USA, where a murder suspect has been mistakenly released from a Cleveland prison. Uh, the man was waiting for trial uh, for aggravated murder charges, mistakenly released from the county jail in Ohio because of a clerical error, uh, the authorities said. The warrant was issued on Tuesday for Amarion Sanders, 22, of Cleveland, who was being held in the Cuyahoga County Jail. Uh, he was mistakenly released on Monday after charges were dismissed against another man in an in unrelated case. So I think there was a mix up with the two cases. So Mr. Sanders goes free and they discover their mistake. Now they are out looking for him again. So they have issued a warrant and the marshal's office and county, state and federal law enforcement are out on the hunt for this guy. Very lucky guy, Wale Kefi Ah, very lucky. A, 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 a mix up of clerical officers in <laughs> making go free, right? So, so yeah. he's a very lucky guy. He's probably gonna run run for his life for as, as long as he can run. <laughs> Hopefully, he doesn't get caught. And it, and it, it, that, that also remind me of, of, uh, of our last video of our of, of Yaba. Yaba, who got Yaba yes. Yeah. Yaba, uh, Yaba, are you? <laughs> yeah, but you that remind me of Yaba. You who got who got, who, got, who, got, who his name got submitted and got dismissed. So, yeah. so 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 mix up doesn't happen in Junu Barawa like he has to live even yeah. in, in the great United States of America. So yeah. so 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 we will have to excuse our our guys at home there that they are actually not <laughs> they are not doing that bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. De Dennis, what do you think? Uh, I think uh, I won't say he's very lucky, but I think um, he's um, he may pose another danger to the community because um. We don't know he 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 has been um um arrested because of the of the murder mur murder case right yes he he was arrested uh, for a murder yeah. case but he's innocent until proven guilty right he was still in the holding yeah. process waiting yeah. for his trial 
yeah but yeah. did he, he is he known to the police though um yeah, I, 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 got arrested, right? I i think yeah he he, he probably is because they they mm. they actually had him in in their custody right yeah mm. yeah yeah so um i want harry to say that he's uh, he's lucky because we don't know exactly what he did um because um a person who is innocent regardless of if you're released in um in um by mistake or in error like something uh, administrative error that got you cl- clerical error that got you released the the right thing you should have done is to go back and say that okay there has been an error and i i want to make sure everything is rectified before <laughs> i i go like a like a i'm released yeah. but he if he decides to <laughs> then if you think that that guy is thinking like that he's like thank you hallelujah i'm free yeah yeah but but that's uh being responsible right yeah uh fi sudan zamana zjanja with uh fata sijin um and then finas kutar fi hukum ta dur al hukum ta khartum al kan gabodo man kan as bashiru kita yeah so they wrote a statement yeah Say, saying that uh showing where they are uh, they were and if anything happened they are they are willing to come back again <laughs> <laughs> you know that that reminds me of a story i think bakumba might have an idea this is uh, from the high school days mm. there was a story a short story from ethiopia um during the famine somebody mm-hmm. wrote a story uh, about the prison i think that's the name so so jack day he was in jail uh, and then this day he was brought to the court so the judge is is now you know about to let him go free right. but jack de made rabara so right. he looked at his options he right. he thought you know what kalana city mu the judge so he starts <laughs> going you know, insulting the judge and the judge is warning him look i will put you back in jail behave uh, jack de best yeah. went on and on uh, and so when the judge ordered and said 10 years or whatever in jail the guy was very happy because <laughs> maisha bare naksa so yeah, he prefers to be in jail where there's food this <laughs> yeah so, yeah accommodation yeah accommodation yeah you know yeah, yeah. that brings us to the end of this episode uh thank you for watching spending your time with us uh we look forward to seeing you again next sunday at 8 p.m. of course right here on yazol tv um please do not forget to share comment subscribe and of course ding the bell so that you get notified every time we upload a new episode uh, follow us on facebook on tiktok and on youtube tell a friend to tell a friend thank you bakumba thank you denis thank and you let's meet again next sunday may god bless south sudan Azul